guys and welcome to my channel today I am going to be sharing with you my meal meal planning binder that I had created as well as my process for my monthly and weekly meal planning and kind of um, what I would someone call shelf cooking so I will also have this video uh, posted on both my lifestyle channel and my cooking channel so that way um, because on my lifestyle channel I have all of you guys that enjoy watching uh, planning videos but on my cooking channel I have all of you guys that enjoy cooking related videos and since this is somewhat of a cooking related video I thought I share them on both so that way sorry if you're on both of my channels and you're seeing this on both of my channels um, you only need to watch one unless you're feeling enthusiastic and want to watch both of them but um, it's going to be pretty much the same same video for both channels but I have been meal planning now for a while and I always find that if I'm not meal planning my pl meals which is usually right around Christmas time I kind of month of December gets thrown right out and summertime sometimes tends to be like that as well that a I we end up eating out a lot more B I end up spending more money on groceries and C I end up throwing out a lot of food which I do not love to do so I have, like I said, I try to stick to the meal plan. New Year's always, uh, New Year is always a great starting off point for me, I feel like. So I had kind of reinvented my meal planning a little bit. A lot of the same stuff, but I am doing a couple different things. So you might have seen my meal planning videos before, but if you have not, you're in for a treat. But, um... So I'm going to turn the camera around, show you my meal planning binder, how I set it up. Uh, you definitely don't need all of this stuff. I like having all of this stuff because it uh, that's just who I am. I love planners. I love planning things. I love paper planners. You can use your, your phone. You can use um, just a piece of paper or whatnot. I have free printables that I'm going to include for you uh, that if you do want to create a binder for yourself, you can there will be free printables for you um, but um, or you can just wing it and write it on a piece of paper it's up to you do what works for you because if you're gonna do something that works for me and doesn't work for you you're not gonna stick to it so turning the camera around and uh, showing you all the things I have here so let's get started with my planning binder this is a cover from uh, my um, uh, what is it? happy planner it is, it, it is the ring um, binder setup or ring planner setup so I had I think this was uh, a teacher planner that I've had a while back back still when I was doing home daycare and I always keep the front, the back and the rings and any dividers that I might want to use I keep those as well just so if I need to create or interchange with all the other ones that I was using. I was not overly happy with the size of this planner for my personal planners. So I decided to put it in use for my meal planner since the sheets that I print out are pretty much a by 10 type of style. This is a little, I think, tiny bit bigger, but that's okay. So when you first open it up, I had used actually some cardstock, and this is a fairly thick cardstock that I picked up at, as a uh, bundle. I'll go get it and show it to you. So there are these design paper from um, Dollarama, and I paid $4, and there are 24 sheets. And I pretty much, maybe I have about four sheets left. I used almost the whole package. I also picked up uh, this one. I do love using these. I had created uh, my uh, daily planner as well. If you have not seen that video, I will link it in the description uh, at the end of this one or up in the sky for you to uh, check that out if you are interested in some daily planning. So this the, this cardstock I do like. It is a little bit thicker than some of the stuff that I picked up at Michael's for my other one. Uh, and it works really well as page dividers. So I just did 
meal planning here and what my goals for this thing is not that I find a lot of recipes outside of Pinterest or online anymore but once in a while you come across a recipe in uh, we get these big uh, huge magazines that we can pick up seasonally at our liquor store and they tend to have really delicious recipes that pair well with wine in there um, so sometimes I like to save those so that is what I'm planning on putting in here and currently I just have my some of my uh, last year's monthly plans in here just as um, a little bit of a you know if I get stuck I can kind of look back and look at it I haven't made what I like to make is a selection of our favorite meals and I have made that a while back but I found we kind of got bored of the meals that were on that page so I am planning on making another list and all I do is I write out a full list of favorite meals that my family likes to eat so that way when I'm meal planning I can always reference to those um, f to fill in the blanks kind of thing and um, that had worked out for me in previous years so I think I'm going to do that and this was part of uh, this planner it came with it so I just reused it and it has a pocket here and a pocket in here and now I had separated just going to pull these out because I haven't added these these are my extra sheets so I'm just gonna move those over there so I had divided all of these into not sure what this is now oh into my uh, monthly monthly um, plans so for January for example which I just um, finished meal planning well we're in the second week of January so I like to meal plan my whole whole month and right out now this doesn't mean that exactly on this day this is what we're having but what it gives me an overview of all of the meal plans that all of the, the meals that I'm planning on having for that month and the way I do this is I have just created the list usually I just did it on a piece of paper but I have decided to make it official and create a list um, a proper list and this again will be linked in my um, in the description box where you can get these for free so I have a pantry stock list and a freezer stock list. So what I do at the beginning of them each month or at the end of each month, I'll go in a freezer and I'll write out all the meat that I have in a freezer. I have a deep freezer and I have a stand-up freezer and then I also have a garage fridge freezer and of course a freezer in my kitchen. And I will tell you how I divide those for easy finding things. So my fridge freezer has items that I use on daily basis so my breads are in there bagels um, tortillas that kind of thing that all the smoothie stuff and then I also like to put leave all my herbs in there that from my garden that I had frozen for the year or f until they are gone and then I also like to put any meat that I'm cooking that week so that way it's easy for me to take out every day or at the end of each day for the next day. And then my fridge free, um, fridge freezer in the garage has items that um, are used for lunch, especially for my kids. So like frozen pizza, there's some frozen tortellini, maybe some frozen soups that I've made, um, chicken nuggets, maybe a bag of french fries, things like that, things that they will use um, more often to make themselves lunch because they're still at home learning. They're both, both of my kids are in university, but they're doing it from uh, online because the schools aren't open. So that's all that in there for them. And then I will also have maybe some frozen veggies that I, we want to be using, but aren't using them on everyday basis type of thing. And then in the basement, I have a stand-up freezer where I will keep 
all of my freezer meals or meals that are already somewhat prepared. Um, I will have all of my jams there. I will have my stock um, there for cooking. I will have, like I said, maybe a frozen lasagnas. Um, we also have all of our cured meats. Once they have cured, we do store them in the freezer. Um, I'll have my baked tomatoes because at uh, peak season, I buy them at the farm or farmer's market and then I will freeze the whole tomatoes so that way I can use them instead of canned tomatoes. So I have just things like that. And then I will have in my deep freezer, which is my chest freezer, all of my raw meat. So yeah, like my chicken, my breast, my whole chicken, my beef, everything like that will be in that freezer. And I have a whole freezer organization over on my cooking, no, on my home channel. So that way um, you can see how I organize that chest freezer. I am planning on some more organ the freezer and fridge organizational videos over on my home channel for next month uh, so stay tuned for that if that's something that interests you so i will go into these freezers and check out if there's any freezer meals that need to be used up if there's any all the meat that i have will go on this list because obviously i want to use that up because we buy meat when it comes on sale and we will buy them in bulk i will always have them in a freezer for monthly cooking so that's the first stuff that gets used up uh, and goes onto this list and then I pretty much do the same thing from the pantry stock list like if I have extra tortillas left or anything like that that might need to get used up I will put it in here and I will also do a fridge list as well um, I just didn't make a separate one because usually my pantry and fridge list will go on one and I will go in a fridge and see what I, what vegetables I need to use up immediately um, or within next week or so and those will go on the list and then when I make up my when I make up my menu I will start with my fridge list first and try and incorporate that into the first week and then I'll move on to you know pantry list and and then all the meats and that way I can see what I need I will try and use up all the meat that I have at the beginning of the month that way any meat that I don't have I have some time to see if it comes on sale and buy it for the meals like I will buy meat on regular price as well I just won't buy them in bulk um, if in case if let's say I want to make a whole chicken a rotisserie chicken and they're not coming up on sale well I will buy but I will only buy one whereas if they, when they come on sale I will buy three or four so that way I'll have them for um, you know a couple times and then um, so that goes in here and then I'll fill it fill it in with um, some of our favorite meals and then I'll also look up on Pinterest and things like that and see if I can incorporate some new meals usually we do new meals on Saturday I'll, unless I know it's gonna be a quick and easy meal then I will do it on the, on the weeknight but Saturdays are usually our sit down and make a type of bigger dinner type of day so if we have some bigger recipe to try and we will do that on Saturdays I also try and make soups twice a week so that goes in here as well and that's actually where your vegetables from the week before I will try and and make some sort of a soup on that Sunday because I usually um, kind of like so the first Sunday of the so like in here the end of the month is on the Monday but I had not uh, planned for until the 29th so I will be meal planning for that week probably on for that month on Wednesday on the 26th and then that following Sunday is when I will try and use up those veggies for the soup and all the other days um, in for roasting or whatever but usually I will use up the veggies for the soup uh, f for the soup bulb because um, in Pinterest you can search based on the ingredients that you have and they'll give you recipes and then I created a menu tab a weekly tab I mean so there here is my weekly meal plan so I have 
uh, this was my uh, weekly menu up and uh, for for this past week um, and I do have breakfast lunch snacks and dinner for snack snacks are more for me so for my meal meal plan but I will also put things like if I'm making um, muffins or cookies or anything like that it will go in here and then I will do so when I write out my dinners I will also write out my salads any type of salads that I'll make or side dishes that I will make with it and type of veggies I will make with it here I don't go into so much depth in here uh, but I do write it in here again when I'm um, trying to use up um, some of the stuff from the fridge so and then when I make my grocery list so just so you know I'll see see how I did that so I printed out a grocery list and I made it to correspond how I'm walking through my store so this works for me um, it will be part of the free printable might not work for you but a lot of the stores are set up very similarly so it might work for you as well so I have produce and I left the whole column for that and then I have deli bakery seafood fridge uh, organic because our organic section from the fridge is different then dairy freezer shelf and I will include cleaning supplies here as well uh, I mean I, I have a cleaning supply list over here so on a shelf one it will be just shelf uh, food stuff and then other if there's anything else like medicine or anything else that I might need goes in here and then I will highlight things because I typically try and go to two stores um, I try every week I try to go to one store but then there's once or twice a month that I will hit two stores because I will need to go and restock some items from Costco because they tend to be a lot cheaper than most of the other stores that we have and those are the things that I will highlight just items that I will be purchasing at Costco versus the other store and then also our seafood we have a, a special seafood store that we get most of our seafood from so that will go over there if we uh, if I'm buying seafood usually it, it is once a week that we'll go and get fresh seafood for our dinner so um, that will go on there as well and then uh, one quick tip if you live in Canada um, there I think I don't know if it's anywhere else but in Canada there is a app called Rebe and I like it's our all of our flyers are in there and you if you shop at certain store like I'll shop a Canadian superstore and I will um, check off items th from other stores that are on sale you can search for like if you wanted to see how much blueberries are in all the stores you'll just type in blueberries and it will shoot out all the prices in every single store and then I'll just check off the one that's cheapest um, and if it's not at the superstore I know the superstore will match it as long as the store they match the store which is most of them they do and I will add that into the grocery list that they have in there and that way I can price match things and you sometimes I tend to save 30 to 40 dollars on price matching so I will do that for all the food items cleaning items toilet paper and things like that as well just a little bit of a saving money there and uh, like I said I try to use up the stuff that I have at home kind of I think that they call that somewhat of a sh pantry cooking or shelf cooking and then um, move on to other things um, to some new stuff and then I'll repeat itself the next month as well well I hope this video was helpful now oh and before I finish off my video let me just show you in here so I have printed out all, all the weeks as well and added them and then over here I have a pocket that I will put any recipes that I'm trying out for that month in here and then if they are a go I will move them over to my uh, uh, my um, 
cookbook binders. I have dedicated, I have, think I have like three or four, I think they're half an inch binders and I had separated them by t type of protein and t what meals they are for and I keep all the t trusted and true recipes in there. That way I'm not cluttering that with other things. So they go in here first. If they are a hit, I will move them into the other one. And then I will move this pocket into every every month that's coming. So I'll move it in, for next month in February. I will move it so that way I can fill it up with new recipes. And I had printed enough stuff in here for the whole year that way I don't have any reason not to succeed in my meal planning and I also have a uh, pocket in here and then um, over here I also made um, room for recipes sometimes I'm surrounded by lots of older especially European women who will make something and it'll be absolutely delicious and uh, they don't have a recipe so that I can photocopy or anything like that so I have a lot of pr I printed out a lot of um, just blank recipe uh, planners in here so it'll, it has categories serving prep time cook time review tools utensils source where I got it from and then all of my ingredients and directions will go in in here and then at the back I've also included because I do do this a lot so I had included freezer meals that I will be adding here barbecue meals for the freezers we do a lot of uh, meal prep for the summer so I will put that in here and then anything new or old that I want to start for canning because I do do canning as well a little bit so I want to add the recipes for that so I hope you had enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up let me know you enjoyed these type of videos share it with a friend and if you're stopping by my channel for the very first time welcome i'm so glad that you are here and you decided to watch this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future ones and um until next time hope you have a wonderful day and thank you all so much for watching